This is the first ever limited edition Rick Shields putter. It was made by hand, completely bespoke. Comes with an incredible story. Let me tell you a little bit about it. I'm Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Don't miss out on any videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this video, smash that like button and leave me a comment down below. And you will definitely want to stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to be giving this putter away to someone watching. So let's rewind time. About six months ago, I had a routine lesson booking come into my diary under the name of Gary. Gary turns up at his required lesson time and he turns up with a bag full of putters. Gary had come all the way from Isle of Man and Gary brought four putters that were completely bespoke. All different designs with my kids' names on, with my names on my initials, all great designs. And he hadn't come for a golf lesson. He had simply come to my door to show me these putters. He was so proud of them because him and his good friend Ian, who are the co-owners of Raybon Putters, they're based out of Isle of Man, they make these putters. Ian, Ian Raybon, that's where the name came from, he is the, the guy who really designs the, the styles and, and gets the craftsmanship of these putters. Ian Raybon's background is actually an aerospace engineer and Gary Hunter is not only the businessman, he's also a PGA pro. So they have the brains and the brawn to get this business up and running with this new line of putters. These two guys play at the same golf club, at Douglas Golf Club in the Isle of Man, and they teamed up to make these incredibly bespoke putters. Now they come with a high price point. They start at $400, roughly 300 pounds, 350 pounds, and go up incredibly in price, 1500 pounds, $1,500, but they are completely bespoke. So the four putters that Gary brought to me that day were hanging around the studio, hanging around at home. I wasn't really doing a great deal with them. They interested me, but I thought, what's the reason to, to make content around it? What's the reason to tell you guys? But coincidentally, just out of sheer chance and luck, I was over in the Isle of Man recently doing some filming. And as soon as I landed, I got a message off Gary saying, are you in the Isle of Man? I was like, yeah. He's like, please come and see us in our factory. So we did, we went down there and I went to look around the factory, had a look at how they made the putters, the machinery that they used to make the putters, learn a little bit more about the business, learn a little bit more about Ian, learn a, bit, a little bit more about Gary. And it really came to life what they were trying to do. This was the, this was the beginning. This was something new, fresh. And two lads who are under 30 coming up with something that is so cool and so fresh and so unique that it was like, you know what? something's got to be done. And Gary, very nicely said, would you like a completely personalized Rick Shields putter? I went, yes, I do. So I spent time with Ian, who's the designer and the engineer. We came up with the stamping on the bottom, the logo on the bottom, the red line on the top, the simple answer looking type shape. And we made this putter. It took a few hours, but we got to the point where we put the correct shaft in it. I like the fatter handle on the grip, the correct the hosel and everything else in there. What I like to see in a putter, and this is the end article. And even to an extent where they actually put my signature in the back of the putter. This putter is completely bespoke and it's designed on that front. I want to take pictures of this putter and share it to my friends, to, to people that I see, to you guys on YouTube. So then I took them out on the putting green. I took them at the putting green here at Prairie. I've been out on the golf course with these putters as well. And that's where I started to see a little bit of a difference. As much as these look phenomenal, they often don't feel perfect. Either the weighting isn't quite right, they've not figured out the right swing weighting or whatever it may be. And the guys at Raybon don't claim to have done that. They're claiming to make bespoke putters. Not they want a putter that works, obviously, they make you a better at putting, but they're not saying that these putters are, they're not robot tested. They're not R&D, they've not loads and loads of background to get the putters as finely tuned as some of the well-known brands like your Scotty Cameron or your Odyssey or your Pings who have vested millions into R&D. Now is performance everything? Because what their guys at Raybon do, they design a putter that exactly suits how you want to see a putter from what you've seen in the past, whether it's been a favorite putter that you've lost or you've sold or you got rid of, or whether it's a new design that you wanna try, you can blend ideas together and potentially the visual, getting a visual putter that is perfect on your eye 
even though the feel might not be perfect or the swing weight might not be perfect, could that still make you a better putter? Sometimes I think it could do. The confidence levels will go up, even though the feel might not be exactly how you want it. And that's where this company, with it only running for 18 months, is very much in its infancy. This came out as an idea on a golf course, a couple of mates, an engineer and a businessman who love golf. They wanted to make putters that was bespoke to tailor for around the world. Give it another 18 months, give it another two years, give it another five years, and where are these two guys gonna be? Is this the start of something that we've not seen before? Is this the new Scotty Cameron? Are these guys the new, you know, top, top engineers and putter designers that we don't know about just yet? They do a great job of what they do so far and they make some incredible putters, but the engineering needs to improve and the, and the actual performance of the putter in the field needs to improve, but you've got to give these guys credit. You've got to give them time. What I liked about Gary and Ian, they thought outside the box. They understood that if they could get time with me and show me the putters that I would give it time and affection and I did. When I landed at Isle of Man, they, you know, went for it. They messaged me, they pestered me to get into the factory, come and see them and I did. And that's why right now we've got a Rick Shields limited edition putter. The first ever. And with that in mind, I'm gonna give this putter away. I'm gonna give this putter away to someone watching this video. What you've got to do is you've got to like this video. You've got to leave me a comment down below. Doesn't matter what the comment is, but leave me a comment, hopefully a nice one. But do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free to do, and you could easily be the owner of this one-off limited edition putter. Money cannot buy yet. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you want me to design some putters. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. The guys at Raybon are doing a great job. It's new, it's fresh. It's, it's, it's one of those ideas that I love to cotton onto. You know, we all develop as, as people. I've, I remember going back in my infancy of, of golf coach or YouTube channel. I didn't know really kind of what I was doing. I found my feet and I worked from there. We're seeing these guys at that stage. Where they're gonna get to is gonna be amazing. Stay tuned, watch their progress, follow them on Instagram, follow them on Twitter. So I think what they're gonna do is gonna be pretty awesome. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. I'd love to kind of, you know, discover new talents in the golf space. And this is one of them. It's not your big name. It's the two guys trying to do the best that they can to make some incredible putters. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. The video, the winner will be announced in the comments below. I'll give it a few weeks to run and the winner will be announced. First ever Rick Shields limited edition putter. I want one of you to win it. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. We'll see you next time.